Welcome to Fault Groups in HP Vertica, one of the many new features in the HP Vertica 7.0 release. This video introduces you to Fault Groups and describes why you might want to use them. HP Vertica uses information you provide about your cluster's physical layout to distribute data segments across the cluster so the database stays up in the event of a failure. This data distribution reduces the impact of correlated failures that might be unavoidable in your environment. Correlated failures occur when two or more nodes fail as a result of a single failure event. Failure events are often caused by conflicts over shared resources, such as power, networking, virtual machine hosts, or shared storage. HP Vertica helps you minimize the impact of correlated failures by letting you define your physical cluster layout in fault groups. The following correlated failure types can help you decide if you should define fault groups. If you have servers on the same data center machine rack, power loss to that rack could cause all nodes on those servers to fail. User error during machine maintenance could also affect an entire machine rack. If you have cluster nodes that use other types of shared infrastructure, such as storage, a correlated failure of a subset of nodes could occur. Be aware that a cluster layout managed by a single network switch creates a single point of failure. Fault groups cannot help you avoid a single point failure. Fault groups provide extra high availability above K safety fault tolerance. Fault group design ensures that rackmate nodes are not buddy nodes by putting them in different fault groups. If an entire rack fails, the database stays up. You create fault groups manually. Plan carefully. You must have a thorough understanding of your cluster's potential correlated failure events before you define fault groups. First, you describe your cluster's fault groups in a definition file. Then pass the definition file to the fault group generator script and save the script's output to a SQL file that you pass to the database. This SQL file contains the SQL statements needed to create fault groups for your cluster. All you need to do is run the output script. In most cases, you'll use the fault group generator script to manage fault groups. However, the SQL statements that the script generates are available to administrators who can use those statements to create, alter, and drop fault groups. You can also add and remove nodes to and from fault groups and add fault groups to fault groups. You'll more likely use these statements to edit existing fault groups if you need to. For full information on creating and managing fault groups, see the HP Vertica Administrator's Guide. You can define fault groups on both large and small clusters using simple or complex hierarchical arrangements. For example, you can have fault groups that contain nodes only, fault groups that contain other fault groups, and fault groups that contain other fault groups and nodes. You can view node to fault group relationships using Management Console. Here you can also view which fault groups nodes you want to display and hide others. When you display a fault group, a colored bubble appears to the left of each node. This uniquely colored bubble indicates that the selected node is in a fault group. In this image, each node is in its own fault group and each node has a colored bubble assigned to it. On node 1, a third fault group, denoted by a pink dot, was added to the parent fault group. Node 1 now has a bubble stack indicating two fault groups associated with that node. Another way to view fault groups is to query the fault group's system table. Output from this table lets you observe fault group hierarchy in the cluster. This concludes the video introducing fault groups. For more information, see the HP Vertica documentation at www.vertica.com slash documentation.